In this video, we'll show you how to change the access of a document or folder to either allow or prevent certain users from viewing or editing it. We'll also review the access levels. Right-click a document and select Modify Access. First, the current access list will be displayed. You can click a group name to see the group details, or click a user's name to see the user's details. Click Modify Access again to change the current access list. This will display the Modify Access dialog window. The list at the left will show all available user groups to choose from. At the right is a list of all those who currently have access to the item. Below this list are the levels of access a user or group may have. Choose from internal groups or the cabinet default access. If you use external user accounts, you will be able to select them here as well. The cabinet default access is also called the cabinet membership list. It includes all users who have access to the cabinet and its contents by default. This list is determined by the cabinet administrator. You can view a group's members by highlighting the group and clicking show members. Highlight the user or user group in the left column and double click it to add it to the right. Select the desired level of access for that user or group. View, edit, share, administer, no access. The various access levels are as follows. View. A user can view a document, folder, save search, calendar event, discussion, workspace, etc. in a cabinet or share space, either in the application or with the viewer. Users can also add documents to a cabinet. The user cannot edit a document or document's profile or place items into a folder. Edit. A user can modify the contents of documents in a cabinet or share space. Create or modify versions of a document. Edit a document's profile, including renaming the document. And they can add new documents or subfolders into a folder. A user cannot rename a folder or create a subfolder. Share. A user can share a document in a cabinet with another user of the cabinet. This means that with share rights, you can add other users but cannot remove existing users' access, and you cannot give any user more rights than you have. Share a share space with other users, inside or outside of the cabinet. You can also add users to the access list up to but not exceeding your own access. This means that with share rights, you can add other users but cannot remove existing users' access, and you cannot give any user more rights than you have. A user has to have edit and share rights to a folder to create a subfolder. Administer. A user can delete a document or a share space, delete a version of a document, force the check-in of a document, add people to the access list, change the rights of users already in the access list, remove other users from the access list of a document or a share space, rename a folder. No access. A user cannot view a document, share space, or folder, etc. Some rights may differ for external users. To remove a user, simply highlight and double click. To change access, highlight a name above, then select an access level. Once you've made any desired changes, click close and you're done. For more information and more tutorials, please visit support.netdocuments.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.